Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server amateur or bucket spigot plug it tour. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion, one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in Jibbles below. I will give you a shout out when I get around to it. This is actually in a tutorial update because the first tutorial I made for this plugin is terrible. So I thought I'd redo this, get through it quicker, show you guys this fantastic plugin, which allows players to lock a lot of valuable stuff for them. It allows them to lock chests, furnaces, doors, all that stuff. They can even give other people access to those chest doors, all that stuff, very simply all with a sign. It will also protect those things from explosion. It's really simple. All you got to do is hold shift, come on up, right click, and then boom. Now that is protected. You can even put another sign on it. Now when you do that, it's going to give access to everyone. Now each one of these lines can actually be given to another player. So you can just put their username. It is case sensitive, so keep that in mind. You can um, put that sign on there look at it, right click on it with a empty hand. You could do lock at, and then we're gonna do line three, and then uh, this isn't his actual username, but it'll add it to them. Then that username will now have access to that. Now, I believe you can put a bracket there and then add a group in order to give access to an entire group rather than just users. So you potentially could add six users, I believe, to each chest or of that sort. So if you want to, it'll also work on double chests as well as single chests. It works on furnaces. Actually, it won't work like that. So you have to put it in front of it. Private. Now let's see if we put our username on there. Don't have to put the username on there. It pops on there and then it protects that item. So that works particularly well for when you're doing doors here. You can do private and now it protects this door from being open. So it'll also work with double doors if you lock double doors. Now, uh, when you open it, it opens both doors. Kind of a, a caveat of this is we can um, right click that sign, do lock at, and we're gonna do line three. And then if we do timer, colon, and then a number, and then bracket again, now, um, now that is one second. Now maybe maybe the doors get messed up, they're, they're stuck open or stuck closed. You can actually look at them, do lock at, fix, and now it will switch those. So you gotta do that for both of them. Now they will reset and close after one second here, which is fantastic. So then with the two, the doors also work if you put them on the door, but that just kind of looks tacky. There's a whole lot of blocks that are built in that you can lock. You can lock enchantment chests, uh, jukeboxes, diamond block, anvils, and hoppers. Now you might be asking, why would you want to lock a diamond block? Well, a diamond block is very valuable. And if somebody came along and tried to, oh, here we go. They can't because it is protected from explosion. You'll see to the right, there's a few config options that you have as well. Not a whole lot. You can add other custom blocks. The list on that custom block list is what you're seeing to the left of my character, your right. And you can add other blocks to that that you want to be protected, like emerald blocks, maybe stuff like that. At the bottom, you have the broadcast section where you can change that. So if you access somebody else's protected chest, it will broadcast out saying that you've accessed it and it'll broadcast everyone. Maybe you want to change that to operators. Maybe you want to change that to just your username. That way you can just keep track of other people or it keeps other admins honest that would have access past those kind of doors. Everything else is pretty straightforward. You have the allow admin snoop. You can um, change that to true or false, uh, admin bypass, you can tell you that the false so they can't open anything that they don't have access to. You can change the explosion protection, all that stuff. Pretty quick and easy. Like I said, this plugin is fantastic. How simple it is, it's just a sign and you can lock down a whole lot of stuff. So hopefully you guys found that video helpful. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless.